So today I will try to explain the problem count unreachable pair of nodes in an undirected graph. Okay. So let's try to um, read the problem statement first. So you are given an integer n and there is an undirected graph with n nodes numbered from 0 to n minus 1. And we are given a 2D array edges where edge of i denotes an edge between ai and bi. Okay. It is undirected and we need to return the number of pairs of different node that are unreachable from each other. Okay. So this is the problem. Now let's uh, try to see one example. Here we see that 0, 2 and 1. There is an edge between all the nodes of this component, right? So 0 can reach 2, 0 can reach 1 and similarly 2 can reach both the nodes, 1 can reach both the nodes that are there in this component. So the output is 0 for this test case. Now let's try to see the second test case. In this test case, uh, we see that 0, 2, 4 and 5 form a connected component. Okay. So there is always a path to reach all the three nodes from 0. Similarly for 2, there is a path to reach all the nodes in the same component for 4 and for 5. But 0, 2, 4 and 5 cannot reach any node which is not connected to this component. Okay, so it 0 cannot reach 3, 0 cannot reach 1, 0 cannot reach 6, same for 2, 5 and 4 and for 3, it is the only node that is there in its component, connected component. So from 3, all the nodes are unreachable. From 1 and 6, all the nodes that are not a part of this component are unreachable. Okay, so now let's try to see the approach to solve this problem. So we see that 0 cannot reach all the nodes that are not a part of that connected component, right? So how to find all the nodes that are not the part of the current connected component? It's easy. Total number of nodes are 7, right? So 7 minus total number of nodes that are there in the current component, 4. That gives us uh, 3, right? And uh, for 3, we see that 3 is the only one in its uh, component so 7 total node minus 1 it gives us what 6 so there are exactly 6 nodes that are unreachable from 3 same for 6 and 1 so 7 minus 2 right it gives us 5 so there are total 5 nodes that are unreachable from 1 and 6 now from uh, 0 there are 3 nodes that are unreachable from 2 there are 3 nodes from 5 there are 3 nodes and from 4 there are 3 nodes now what we need to do is how to find all the nodes okay from a particular component that are unreachable so there are 4 nodes in this component so 4 into total number of these nodes which are not a part of that component 3 right so it gets us 12 okay and uh, for 3 3 is the only node in its component so 1 into all the nodes that are not a part of this component that is 6 right 6 so it gives us 6 now for 1 and 6 there are 2 nodes in this component and there are total 5 nodes that are unreachable from this component right so 5 into 2 gives us 10. Now add it all and uh, so 12 plus 6, 18 plus 10 total is 28. So 28 should be our answer right but do you see the problem here? The answer is 14. So ideally our answer should be 28 right but the expected answer that is given to us is 14 in the output. Why is it happening? Because when we were trying to make a pair from 0 to 3, we already made this pair, right? 0, 3, 0, 3. Okay. But again, when we tried to uh, find all the pair from node 3, we again counted this 3, 0 in our answer. 3, 0. And this happened for all the nodes. When we were trying to make the pair from 2 to 0, sorry, 2 to 3, we made this pair 2, 3. And again from 3, we tried to make all the pairs which are not reachable. So again, we made 3, 2. So there is a duplicacy of all the pairs that we counted, right? That is why we are getting two times the expected answer. So at last we can simply 
divide this answer by 2 and we can get the expected answer, the right answer. So this is going to give us 40, which is the correct answer. So at last, let's check out the code and I will also try to explain the code. So we are given an integer array, 2D array, edges, right? So edge of i denotes an edge between ai and bi that was given to us, right? In the problem, like this. These are the 2D arrays, edges. Now we need to make adjacency list out of it. We need to form the graph structure. Okay, we are given a 2D array. Now we need to make the graph structure, adjacency list. So I've taken a list of list of integer called adjacency, okay, which is initialized with uh, an array list, empty array list. Now for all the edges from zero to n, there are n edges that is given to us, right? So there are n edges that is given to us and uh, we initialize all the edges with an empty array list okay from 0 to n minus 1 now this is the part where the uh, adjacency list is being formed so for each um, edge like 1d array edge so for each edge in edges so for each loop is there so it, it will give us 0 1 first so for 0 1 we get adjacency dot get edge of 0 edge of 0 is what 0 right so adjacency dot get zero gives us an empty array list that we just initialized and then we add add edge of one one okay so edge of one value is one so add one in it and we are doing this for one also one as well since there is an edge between zero and one and it is undirected graph so there will always be an edge between one and zero as well so that is why we are doing this line we are adding an edge between one and zero as well okay this is simple adjacency list creation now we uh, come to this part this is our total pair answer variable okay and uh, i have also taken an a variable called remaining nodes initialized it with uh, n okay so there are total number of n nodes in the beginning now this is boolean visited array visited array why are we taking so this is simple dfs traversal of graph if you know the basic traversal of graph you will be familiar with all these things so we are taking the boolean array called visited and we are uh, visiting every node okay from 0 to n minus 1 we are checking if visited of i is equal to false so initially we come to 0 we check if 0 visited no it's not then we go inside the dfs call now dfs function here is going to give us this is our dfs function this is going to give us the size of the current component okay size of uh, like the number of nodes that are there in this connected component so this uh, function is simply going to return us the size of all uh, the number of nodes that are there in the current component so i've kept it inside this variable called current component size now let's try to check out the dfs first so this is a dfs function so what i've done here is that this is taking a current node that we are currently at also taking an adjacency list and a boolean visited array okay and also the answer variable now since why am i taking uh, like a new uh, like integer array of size one why am i taking because if uh, in java we can't uh, pass by reference any variable is not passed by reference it is always passed by value okay so if we would have uh, passed count here okay count variable simply then on every function call it would create a new um, object in the memory right in the heap so to avoid that it is simple so just java thing kind of so we took this um, count array of size one as our answer variable and when we uh, go inside the function call if this is the base case so visited of current node is equal to is equal to true so we um, what this line does is we initialize our uh, dfs call from here okay from zero so we initialize our dfs call from zero we go to two and make it as visited first because we have already visited this node to make it as visited now go to two make it as visited do the calculation and go to one make it as visited and do the calculations uh, again we go to zero from one we go to zero okay so we see that zero is already visited no need to visit it and again calculate anything on it because if we keep on doing this it will create an infinite loop or stack overflow simply right 
so this is the base case of recursion when we find the current node which is already visited we stop our recursion call and we just return the count variable our answer variable and in any call we when we uh, go inside the function we make it as visited okay and the count of zero is also increased this is our uh, answer variable so we are initially at zero so we have one node in our comp component when we visit two, we have two nodes in our co component. When we visit one, we have three nodes in our component and so on. So, so this count of zero is incremented on every function call. Now for each adjacent node of the current node, adjacency uh, list dot get current node. This will give us all the uh, nodes that are connected to the first node. Okay, the node that at which we are at currently. So if we are at zero, this line will give us one and two. Okay, because zero is having one there is an edge between zero and one an edge between zero and two so for one we initialize a call dfs and for two also we initialize a call so this is uh, at and at last we just return answer of count variable okay so this is simply a simple uh, dfs traversal which is going to give us the size of the current component now remaining node means denotes that all the nodes that are not a part of the current component how are we uh, calculating it so the total number of nodes that are there n so total number of nodes are 7 right minus the current component size so current component size is 4 so 7 minus 4 will give us 3 so remaining uh, nodes are 3 and then total pairs is our answer so we just uh, add current component size which is 4 4 into remaining nodes that are 3 so there are total 4 into 3 7 pairs right uh, sorry 12 pairs okay so there are total 12 pairs that are not reachable from each other and then finally since it is also going to count all the um, duplicate values so we return total pairs by 2 so that is simple um, algorithm so let's try to run the code and submit it So it's accepted and uh, that's it. Thank you for being patient and listening till the end. Bye-bye.